I'm Lisa Freeman. I'm director of the Tufts Institute for Human-Animal Interaction. I'm also a professor at Cummings School and I have secondary appointments at the Friedman School and Tisch College. And more importantly, this is my friend Penny. There are so many benefits that animals have in people's lives for everything from companionship to animal-assisted therapy or even things like uh, helping children learn to read with animals. So there's a lot of excitement about the field of human-animal interaction. But one of the challenges is that there's not yet enough evidence-based information that we can use to develop the most effective um, programs in research, education, and service. Our goal in research is to really look across the lifespan, so all the way from children to adults um, to elders, whether it's you know, in healthy development or whether someone has an illness and we might want to look at human-animal interaction to um, impact that and make their lives better. Um, our research really spans quite a bit um, and can really help people in a variety of ways. Education is a great way to bring awareness about the positive benefits of human-animal relationships. We all really, um, those of us who have, have animals or have interacted with animals really understand how positive it can be for us and for the animals. And so the education component will really be about um, helping to spread that word, spreading the science as well as awareness about um, the, the benefits of human-animal relationships. I think that the service component is very important, especially at an institute like Tufts. I think that sometimes the common public's perception of a larger institute is that the research is very uh, challenging and very hands-off from the, from the general public's perspective. When we bring a service aspect into it by providing community volunteerism, and we encourage the, the outside community to do the service that is provided through the Institute. It allows people to engage with Tufts University in a way that they otherwise, the general public, may not consider even possible. We see the Institute as a real resource for the university and even people outside of the university in being able to bring people together to work on these different projects in research, education, and service. What's really needed to advance this field is a really interdisciplinary approach. So having um, engineers and physicians and uh, veterinarians and psychologists and occupational therapists all working together to advance this study and to improve the health for people and animals. As the director of the Institute, my vision is that this Institute will bring people from across the university from very different disciplines together to be able to advance the field of human-animal interaction and to promote optimal health both for humans and for animals.